Hey, it's Josh with Apogee Rifle Works. So we've all been victim of watching a review on YouTube where somebody shoots a barrel and shows a group like this, one MOA, maybe a little flyer there. One MOA, maybe one and a half, that was me, bad ammo, something like that. Two in the same hole, probably about a one MOA gun, then there was two flyers here. Probably Coriolis effect, bad ammo, allergies flared up, you know, whatever the case may be. Keep shooting, people. If you've got a group that's, you know, not looking great, they're not all touching, it's starting to have some flyers and you know it wasn't you or you're an okay shot, um, keep shooting. So we got a KAK, got a group, you know, that big. Daniel Defense, group about that big if you keep shooting. Centurion Arms, got something like that. So this gives you an idea, especially if you're setting zero and you plan to shoot a little bit further, um, you know, you might adjust your, your zero point into here. Looking at this Daniel Defense, you know, you're going you're gonna to try to find the middle. But it, when you're shooting longer distance, that's where it really matters because you're going to try to keep correcting for a gun. If this is a 3 MOA gun at 100 yards, you know, what is that going to be doing at 300 yards? You might have not missed because of wind. You might just miss because you're shooting a 9-inch group at 300 yards, something like that. So hope this is helpful. We're going to try to release more information as we're testing more and more of these 12.5s. And then as we have the funding and the time and the availability, we're going to be testing more and more barrels. Um, bear in mind, these are sample size of one. The same shooter shot all these groups, same ammo, and uh, they were all BCM thermal fits, and we used the same Geisley BCG, same Geisley rail, same scope, same setup. Um, so trying to be as consistent as we can, knowing that you know we're only testing one barrel uh, right now anyway. Okay, thanks.